Hey everyone, uh, we're back for uh, more Rise of the Argonauts with, you know, we're free playing, so this is going to be, um, this is going to be bad, you know, but we are Jason, King of Yolkus. um, I apparently was wrong about who his wife was, uh, I should really have googled that before, um, but I, I'm I, like I'm certain it was Medea. I have no what. Okay, whatever. Uh, dude, back there's Hercules, and uh, you're running down to the village, which is you know not that way, but um, which is this way. And we are running. I don't know why we're running. Your like palace this. would be at home among the great houses of Athens or Mycenae. Okay, thank you. Ooh, it's auto saving. Hey guys, trouble in the village. Uh, hey, who are you? Oh, you're Pandora. Welcome, King Jason. May the blessings of Apollo's light shine upon you. What can Pandora, a humble fortune teller and follower of the sun god, do for you? What type of fortunes do you tell? I ask a person questions about their relationships with their fellow man. Then I interpret their responses and align them with the constellations of the stars. Ooh, cool, Let's yeah. see what fortune you can see. A man's most difficult choices involve the relationships he has with others. Which of these relationships shall we explore first? Friendship. Speak of friendship. The bonds between comrades. You are a poor guard, as is your closest friend. You learn that someone has stolen the devotional offerings from the local temple. You discover it was your friend who did this. His wife is very sick and requires medicine he cannot afford. Oh my goodness. He offers to split the money with you if you keep his secret. Oh my god. A large reward and a likely promotion await you if you arrest him. What do you do? What is that? Ah, oh, moral questions. What? Uh... My goodness, I don't want to kill his wife, but oh, what the uh, whom? Uh, I don't know. I would allow my friend to spend only what was needed yes, to acquire you. the medicine. Then, I would anonymously return the rest. Here, I sense the stars of the constellation. Pygmalion, the sculptor, in your response. Of what okay. shall we speak of next? Sure, family. Let's discuss the bonds of family. Two suitors vie for your daughter's hand. Oh, my goodness. One is a prince who will lift your entire family in stature and wealth, but your daughter doesn't love him. The other is a lowly farmer whose land is poor, but whose heart is rich with your daughter's love. That one's easy. If she marries the prince, there will be peace for a hundred years, Oops. but she will live a short and unhappy life. If she marries the farmer, she will live long and happily, but the land will be plunged into brutal warfare. To whom do you give your blessing? Oh my goodness! Uh... Ah, uh, what? Ah! Uh. I, I don't want my daughter to be... Oh, goodness. But I don't want war. Uh, uh, we 
can't have war just because of one person, right? Um, neither of them? Oops. I'd refuse to let my daughter marry either man, and so avoid both fates. In this matter, your answer aligns with the constellation Centaurus, the centaur. Of what shall we speak of next? Let's speak of my fellow men. You are a shepherd. You suspect a neighbor who is neither kin nor friend of opening your gate and grazing his flocks on your land. This shepherd's pastures lie between yours and the great forest. The wolves have been emerging from the forest in force this year and have claimed many of his flock. The wolves have spared your sheep while they grow fat on his. What do you do? I'd recognize that I benefit at his expense. He serves as a buffer between my sheep and the wolves. I would suggest that we work together to solve the problem. I feel the sway of the constellation Libra, the scales, in your answer. Now we have only the matter of duty to discuss. You are a scout in a king's army. A neighboring kingdom threatens your border. A fragile treaty keeps the peace, and you have orders to honor it. On patrol, you spot a soldier from the opposing kingdom hurriedly racing back to his side of the border. From where he was on your side, you see a scratched pattern on the ground, a signal for an invading force. What do you do? I would observe the marks the enemy soldier had made to interpret their exact intent. Only then would I decide my next course of action. Your answer is guided by the constellation Pygmalion, the sculptor. So, Pandora, what fortune do you read in my responses? In fulfilling your duties, you believe that reason and sound thinking must be the basis of all decisions. Yes. In society, the common good is the highest goal. You believe people should work together to solve their collective problems. Yes. Friends should help each other. If your friend should stray from virtue, you believe it's your obligation to bring him back. Yes. You have a strong bond with family. You do not act independently of your family, but collectively, together. Yes. Your dominant constellation is Pygmalion, the sculptor. Wherever your path leads, you will walk nobly and you will learn from your journey. Your choices have shed much light on the man who stands before me. I hope you have found my humble fortune illuminating in some small way. Well, it was rather fun. I did. Thank you. Apollo. Does Apollo grant you the gift of foresight? Is that why you're a fortune teller? I'm certainly not an oracle or even a seer. But I have some knowledge of the stars and their influence on men. And besides prophecy, why else do you follow Apollo? Oh, Apollo rules over much more than that. He is the sun god. He who commands the sun. Civilization, music, and order. All of these are noble things. What of Apollo's virtues? Do they have an effect on your work? Nobility of purpose. A studious and open mind. Compassion. These are the virtues I strive to uphold. There is a reason good men ask Apollo to bless their shields. He favors those whose purpose is true and who fight only to defend what's noble and right. I must be going, Pandora. Be well. Apollo bless you. I'm sure he does. Okay. Let's... 
Oh, here's Hermes. Hey, Hermes. Oh yeah, he guides people to the underworld, so that's why. He's a patron of uh, merchants and thieves, which I find hilarious, but... Hey, peeps. Oh yeah. There's that person there. Let's see if we can find her parents first. My brother is dead. Yeah, we know that. Where is your king? Where is your cherished I'm here avoiding you, dude. Hey, where are her parents? Elpis' parents. Nope. Are you in here? No, only pottery. Yeah, yes, you know. What's on here? I don't know. Oh, I can lift the gate. Oh. Hey, what's on here? Not much. More Hermes. Seas. Called Mercury in the Roman. Oh my goodness. I don't think we should be here right now. <laughs> uh, I just recognized that place. Uh, no, we're not supposed to be here now. We're supposed to be there later to prove ourselves or something. Let's go handle this Xeno dude. He was so full of himself. Oops, I click. Yeah, yeah, oh my goodness, there we- Okay, here, maybe we can through here. You let a handful of mercenaries bring shame upon you! Yup. Your guests lie murdered! Yup. My brother is dead! Yup, I know. Where is your king? Where is your cherished yeah, warden? Yeah, yeah. Look who finally decides to grace us with his presence! King Jason himself! It only took you all day! Why are you worth my attention? You lose your voice shouting like that, Zeno. My righteous anger will not be silenced by the likes of you! Thessaloniki will be satisfied! The memory of my brother demands it! Where are you all bloody? I'm sorry for Menander's loss. May he find his way to Elysium. Not good enough. No, not by a long way, King of Yolkus. There must be compensation, tribute. Your lands here are rich. Your herds are fat. Clearly you've grown soft with Zeus's favor shining down upon you. Things are much different on the rocky soil of Thessaloniki. A hard life makes men tough. And obviously, but you Yulkins wouldn't know about that. Save your insults, Thessalonian. Why don't you just say what it is you want? I will bring my brother's body home, and with it, my ship will be full of Yulkin wheat and sheep. And then. Each year, on the anniversary of Menander's death, Excuse you will send me? ten girls on the cusp of womanhood to me. Uh, no. no! This is what I demand in tribute to the memory of my murdered brother. I will see your ship loaded with grain and sheep. I know the people are hungry in Thessaloniki, but no Yolkin girls will ever be paid in tribute to you or anyone else. You That's tell right. him, King Absolutely Jason. Absolutely not. I am not here to negotiate. If you refuse my demand, then my men and I will take our own revenge! If there is no other way to satisfy you, then let us settle this between us. I'm with Jason. Then consider yourself challenged, Warden. Name your terms. My men and I against you and your behemoth. Really? Your guards will take no retribution against me after I kill you. When you fall, I take my brother's body and the tribute I have named back to Thessaloniki. What? 
it! No! Don't do it! And your stake? I hold here my brother's mace, a weapon worth more than anything on Yeltus. Blessed by Poseidon himself, this will be my stake. Really? Boo! No one wants it. Really? No. You will swear here and now, before these witnesses, that your family will make no further claim for tribute. Should any try to do so, they will forfeit the honor of your family name. Very well. Please, I so I swear. So swears Zeno of Thessaloniki. Tell us when. You boys take all the time you need. Jason of Yulkus dies today! Kill them! You're not getting any women from me, bastard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was your head, dude. Oh yeah, that was your head, dude. Whoa, I totally did that wrong. Oh, oh my god, I went the alt button. Yeah. Finish it, you yelkin dog. Take your brother home, Zeno. I won't forget this, Jason. Leave the mace. What? Your stake. Do you forget? Bah! A curse on Yeltus. Maybe I should have killed him, I don't know. It is a fine mace. Do you think it really was blessed by Poseidon? I think so, sir. Who knows? Did you help me? One thing's certain. It'll see more honor with you than that fool. Yoke Mace. This mace doesn't offer any special bonuses. Wavebreaker. Whenever this mace hits an enemy, there is a chance that non damage blast will impact all foes around it. Also, all mace attacks have a moderate power bonus. Whoa. Yeah, which which one do we want? I think I want the wave breaker, dude. Yeah. Be careful, King Jason. He had a witch with him earlier. She may still be around. Okay. A witch. You don't know that, Thaddeus. You should have seen her. Markings all over her mm -hmm. body. And she was asking about the assassin. Fun for her. More like demands, really. Did any of us see him? Where did he come from? She was very interested, all right. Where is she now? Did you see her leave? That we did. That Xeno man was yelling up a storm, and I saw her slink off. It was real strange. She had her ears perked like she was listening for something. Then, all of a sudden, she pricks up, and she was off like a bolt toward the Crypt of Kings. Oh. I heard her say under her breath, I've got you now, as she ran off. I swear on Olympus. Me. Thank you. I'll find her and see what she's up to. Um. Oh. I'm a duelist. Where is this Crypt of Kings? Really? I can't talk to you? What? Okay, where are these parents? Oh, whatever. Uh, let's see what's back here. I was raised in a village like this. Long time ago. Yep. Oh, okay, this is Crypto Kings. Cool. What's down here? I don't know. Let's go in here first. No, wait, these aren't graves. These are, um... Here lies the oh. Crypt of Kings. Yeah. Uh, science. The final resting place of the royal family of Yolkus. In this crypt are kings and queens. Wardens and champions of wow. Zeus. Wow, those are some pretty May their doors. honor live forever. Okay, let's go check on the witch. Whoa, why are you... Leave. 
on you all, many fabawee! Oh, look, she is uh, fighting the assassin there. Whoa. The great Medea, how far the mighty have fallen! Oh, that's Medea. Your power has grown feeble. We found Medea. Has it? They might have changed bits of the story because. I will be friend of Mono Dilari. Go, Medea. Goodness, I have to find this thingy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's more of them! Why? Oh, Hercules! Do something, Hercules! Oh my goodness, help me! Hercules! What are you doing? What are you not doing, rather? Yeah! Thank you. Hey, Medea! <sighs> Forgive me. I lost myself again. Are you all right? I am weak, but it will pass. That black tongue called you Medea. I assume that's your name? It is. It's time for answers, Medea. Then ask your questions, Jason. Who was that man you killed? His name was Cyclos. Typical black tongue. Cruel, devious, and fanatical. When I heard of the attack here, I came as quickly as I could. Their assassins never work alone. How would you know that? You see the markings I still bear. Are they not answer enough? In another life, I was one of them. Until I realized the powers I gained came with a terrible price. Your sorcery nearly killed all of us. Do you have no control over it? There was a time no follower of Hakate could hope to match me. Now when I call upon the full might of my powers, it threatens to overwhelm me. Oh my god, no, I thought I could ask all those four questions. Ah! Medea, do you know why the Black Tongues targeted my wife? I don't know why. But I know this is not their first attempt. They tried before when she was a babe on Mycenae. What? When your wife was born, King Lycomedes traveled to Delphi and spoke to the Oracle Pelagia. Whatever he was told, it got the Black Tongue's attention. Assassins were dispatched to both Mycenae and Delphi. Lycomedes thwarted the attempt on your wife and the assassin Lysander failed to eliminate the Oracle Pelagia. It's said he fell in love with her, and together they fled, never to be seen again. Oops. So that's why Lycomedes waged his war? Yes. His name was cursed by every black tongue in Greece. Medea, I seek to restore my wife. The black tongues are at the heart of what's happened here. Your knowledge of them would be helpful, and in return, I offer you allies in your fight. If you try to bring her back, the Black Tongues will flock to you like moths to a flame. There'd be no need to chase after them. Go to my ship. Tell Argos to give you a room. Jason, are you sure about this? Your friend is right, Jason. I am not safe to be around. 
I sometimes lose myself, as you have seen. We can keep your power warded. That is, if you are willing. It would be the only way. Very well, King of Yulkus. I will hunt with you and lend what aid I can. I will prepare the wards to secure your ship. I don't even have a ship! Oh my goodness. Far too much sorcery being cast about for my liking. Why did you ask her along, Jason? How can you trust her? There are forces at work we know little about. Prophecies, like Amides, the Black Tongues. Knowledge I can hold on to is an advantage. Besides, you saw what she did to that assassin. Made a five Apollo aligned choices! Made five Hermes aligned choices! Convince Medea to join your crew! I have a crew, but I don't have a ship yet! But I told her to go to the ship, ship that I don't have! Sure, game. Sure. We'll go with that. And Sasha helped me as you did. Aww. Am I talking to you, stupid? Am I talking stupid to you? Yes, I am. And she's there thinking, oh my god, servants, shut up. Here's the ship. Hello, Argos. Give me the Argos. Now that is a boat. Um. Hey, dude. Why, dude? Nestus. Hey, I want to get to my ship. Oh, no. It's blocked. Okay, Nestus, talk to me, baby. Where is Argus? Argos. Greetings, King Jason. I am the Dockmaster, Nestus. May Athena's five virtues be with you always. Oh, look here. Uh, I can't take the choice, though, because Sasha is in the way. Uh, Row okay. us out to the ship, cool. Nestus. Of course, sir. Favorite of Zeus himself, blah blah blah. Oh, okay, here's the ship. I uh, apparently already have the ship. Oh, hi Argo, hi Ross. Jason, how are you? My heart broke when I heard what happened. This ship was to be a wedding gift. Now it's something else, I suppose. Perhaps it still will be, Argos. Is she ready to sail? Aye. She's girded and fit for open waters. Good. I have her maiden destination. Delphi. Delphi? What in Hades do you want to go there for? I have questions that need answers. Answers I can only find on Delphi. Argos, do you know the way? I've sailed most every patch of sea in Greece, but I've never seen the shores of Delphi. Part of me thinks it's just a myth. There are tales of heroes who've been there. Aye, and each claims it's in a different place. I'm sorry, Jason. I can't steer you there. Hmm. Elias said he would look into it. We should check back with him. Now what about this Medea woman? She says you told her to come aboard. Nearly scared me half to death. She just walked up behind me in the deck house. No rowboat, no nothing. It's all right. She'll be coming with us to Delphi. It's your ship, but you need to see what she's done to her quarters below <laughs> decks. Very well, Argos. I will. It's, um, irregular. Keep the ship ready. We'll go see if Pelias has learned how to get to Delphi. Yeah, so now I have a cat. Who's, you know, place yourself on my hand, on my mouse hand, so I'm having a bit of problems with steering here. I was like, come on, door, hello. Hello. Okay, so this is steering. Uh -huh. Oh, I just remembered something. Oh no. 
Okay, I'm not gonna tell you guys, but, um... Wait. <laughs> uh... Where is... What? Hey, where's below deck? Oh, here. Okay. No? What? Um... Here's the navigation room and stuff. Here? Is this where you go down? Okay, one door at a time, right? Oh, okay, here's where you go down. Maybe. Is it? It's the machine room. Oh, okay, here. Okay. Oh, looky here. I don't have anything on display, but I will be able to have. So this is going to be our base of operations. Well, I don't know who lives here. Obviously no one, but people will be living in here, right? This looks like my... Wow, why are beds always so short in games? It's like, um... My legs are going to be outside? Okay, cat went. What are you doing? Okay, she's just sitting there. On the floor. Okay, here's someone. Oh, hello, Medea. Cool. I have finished the ruins of warding. So I see. They are attuned to you, Jason. Only you can remove them. As long as they remain active, neither I nor my powers can leave this room. However, I can still prove harmful to anything inside these walls. I'd like to know more about the Black Tongues. Such as? Tell me about how the group is organized. The Black Tongues are ruled by the Secretive Council of Ravens, each of whom is a formidable sorcerer. The exact number of Ravens is unknown. They decide the actions of the group and communicate those orders to their subordinates. The lower ranks remain ever ready should a mission be given to them. The Black Tongues seek their recruits from the farthest corners of the world, promising paradise in Tartarus. Their agents live in secrecy, and they can strike anywhere at a moment's notice. Well, Tartarus isn't exactly, you know, a nice place. What motivates the Black Tongues? What do they believe in? They worship the Titaness Hecate, the dark witch goddess of sorcery and deceit. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of the Olympian gods and seek to overthrow them. Through rituals of pain and sacrifice, her followers yield their very spirits to Hecate in exchange for sorcerous powers. They believe that one day Hecate will gain supremacy over both the living world and the underworld. Until then, they obey orders fanatically Believing that they will find a paradise in Tartarus should they die. Uh. How did you come to be a Black Tongue? My father was King Aedes of Colchis. He had no time for daughters, so I was often left to myself. One day, when I was twelve, my father decided he would marry me to a neighboring king. Oh, nice. My suitor was nearly sixty. Oh my goodness. On our wedding night, I murdered him when he came to my bed. Then I ran. Uh -huh. For years I lived alone, but I vowed never again to be powerless. The Black Tongues found me, and at the time what they offered was intoxicating. Power can be that way. Oh, eventually I realized there was a price to all things. I had thought I was gaining power, but I was being made a thrall. I was that 12-year-old girl all over again. But this time, it was a titan slipping into my bed. <gasps> oh my goodness. It comes and goes in waves. Perhaps we could speak more later. Of course. I hope you're comfortable here. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Okay, so there's where she lives. Um, here are lots of beds. I like your room, though. I like what you did to the place, actually, Medea. Um, here's someone's room. 
hear someone go Oh, I see gods here. Hello. Altar to the gods. Shrine. Ooh. Ares, Hermes, Apollo, Athena. Um let's go with Hermes. Hey, deeds! Through valor in, co valor in combat and acts of virtue, you will acquire deeds. On the screen, you can dedicate these deeds to your patron gods. I am Manslayer! Kill five soldiers! Okay. Favor! Indicating deeds to god will win you their- Dedicating deeds to god will win you their favor. Gain favor with the gods by making dialogue choices that are aligned with them. Aspect point. When you have earned enough favor with a god, you will receive an aspect point. By spending aspect points, you can buy aspects from this god, improving your skills and giving you new abilities. That is awesome. Hey, Hermes. Oops. Do I have any aspect points? No. Buy four more aspects. Buy this aspect. You must buy Gates of Tartarus before buying this aspect. Spirit Tray. Whenever Jason dodges, he leaves behind a decoy. That animal will attack. The decoy vanishes if it takes too much damage, or Jason places another. I do not have any aspect points, though. Well, cool, let's check out the others. Hey, Ares. Well, I have more favor with Hermes. Hello. Oh, I got a lot of favor with you, dude. And Athena, who looks like you are not wearing anything, but okay. Athena, I've got- yeah, i got some favor with you too. Okay. Let's go back. Hey, people! So Medea is one of the, you know, lesser clothed uh, women, of course. I mean, what is she wearing? Seriously, it's like... Why do you pop up? What kind of trousers skirt is that? Well, uh, so we checked that out in the ship. So, you know, we're going back um, to the lovely uncle. Oh, okay. What? And we're, we will somehow make it to Delphi. Totally. But we're gonna break here, uh, and you know, go back to the castle and stuff, next time. I'm gonna save here. Thought? Okay. Hey, new save! <laughs> sorry, sorry, um... Okay. Save, current, checkpoint. Yes. I don't really know what my checkpoint was, but, uh... Okay, I hope I'm saving where I am. Oh, uh, whatever. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, there's a lot of talking and stuff right now. In the beginning of the game, of course, to get info and everything, but I s Oh, hello! You're here again? Okay, cool. You wanna say anything? No? No? You're- you're a quiet one. If you don't want me to, you know, run around, be your servant. Uh... Uh, but I hope you are in all enjoying the game nevertheless, and, uh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again soon.